Listen up miners, I gotta ask, what mining pool do you have your ASICs on? Now the bigger question, why? Reliability, security, profitability, and uptime are must-haves for serious crypto miners. All reasons why I've been running my new Bitcoin, Caspa, and Script miners on ViaBTC.com. ViaBTC.com has a unique, one-of-a-kind mining mechanism called Smart Mining, which unlocks higher returns for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash miners. In addition, what sets ViaBTC.com apart is their hourly payouts, auto withdrawal, and conversion system, which I gotta say is super convenient. Go check out ViaBTC.com today via the link in today's video description and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, I've really been doubling down on my ASIC purchases recently. The prices are absolutely insane. And on top of that, with shed number two up and running, operating at four cents for me, it's a no brainer. I have full faith in the crypto market. I expect that bull run to be down the road here and I wanna make sure that my farm is up and running. So what Bitmain did we purchase? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Right, so what do we have here? Well, you guys probably guessed it, the Bitmain Amp Miner S19 XP. This unit here is the 141 terahash unit. I actually had my eyes on the 151 terahash unit. I was actually buying directly from Bitmain and Bitmain actually did not have any more available. They sold out of them. The S19 JXP, oh man, that 151 terahash, that one looked so attractive with great efficiency on it. I was sold on it, but unfortunately they were out of those. I was in interested in getting that purchase in now. So we went ahead and got the S19 XP. Still really good, about 10 terahash less, but this is probably gonna be my last Bitcoin ASIC that I buy. I say that now, right? Hold me to it. Um, you know, I wanna make sure that I start to diversify more with some of the altcoins. Um, this is, uh, let's see, I have three, four, five. This is number six. Ooh, a little close to the edge there, don't like that. This is number Bitcoin miner six in the shed. And I just don't know that I wanna to get too much more, especially with the halvening coming up and with the potential for altcoins to 10X or 100X, who knows, right? It's always a gamble. But this unit looks traditional uh, to a normal S19. Uh, it's pretty beefy here. I'm excited to get this up and running though, because man, I'll take that 141 terahash. Let me go ahead. We're gonna get this plugged in down here and let's do some testing. All right, so we're over on Bitmain's website and let's take a look at what it, this unit is marketed with. So we're gonna go over to the website, Antminer SHA-256, and we're going to take a look for our unit. And there it is right there at the top, Bitcoin Miner S19 XP. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this unit. So 141 terahash, and it runs at 3,031 watts, which is 21.5 joules of terahash, which is awesome, which is still really, really good. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this miner because two things that come to mind here. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna refresh it. It's got some network abnormality, so we'll probably just reboot it. Not, I'm not too worried about it. If you ever run into those, a reboot is always the no brainer with a lot of these bit mains. But let's go over here to settings now. First thing, it doesn't have a low power mode. Just taking a look, you know, uh, if you guys are curious, I uh, would love to hear from Bitmain on, you know, hey, future firmware with low power mode because low power mode is super common with a lot of their other models. 
But today I'm going to actually run mine on via BTC. I've been actually using it recently with my Avalon that I have off right now. I got to transport it back over to the shed, but I've been using it and I've really, really liked it. Not only their interface, but also their reward structure. So we're going to go ahead and grab our stratum here at the bottom. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it under mining address. And then once you create your via PTC account, it actually, you actually have the account, which is the hobbyist miner and then dot worker ID is what we go ahead and put in. So I'm gonna paste that in and we're gonna replace this with S19 XP. And for password, we're gonna hit an X and we're gonna hit save and we're gonna give this, what, five, 10, 10, 15 minutes maybe and see how this puppy performs. All right, we've been up and running for 10 minutes. You can probably hear that thing in the background. So I'll make this quick. So we've been up and running and we're about 141 tera hash. Uh, the one thing I noticed about the XP is like with the uh, with the other 19s that I have, it like slowly ramps up. The XP is like instant hash rate. Like within the first minute, the average was already instantly at 140, 141, which I was really impressed versus the 19s kind of scale up. So that being said, we're showing up here on uh, via BTC, it'll be a few minutes before we start to see all that hash rate over there. Now, the one thing that I noticed though, was that this was advertised at like 3,031 watts. Well, it definitely uses a lot more at the wall. We're at 3,230-ish watts at the wall. So about 200 watts more than what's reported on the manufacturer website. Now, if I go over to mine the ASIC, they kind of have these hard coded in at 140 tera hash, at 3,010 watts. So their predictor, based off of my four cents, which is what I run at the shed, we're gonna bring this over there in a second, income per day, $8.65. The electricity though is $2.89 a day, and that's at four cents. So our profit per day is $5.76. Well, if we wanna get more granular, I put the 141 in for our hash rate over on what to mine. For the power, I put what we're seeing at the wall, 3,233 at our four cents, Puts us about $8.72 a day in revenue, $3.10 in electricity, and $5.61 in profit. Still over $5 a day, which is awesome. Let's get this unit powered down and bring it over to the shed. Mm -hmm. 